हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द सर्कुलर कन्वोल्यूशन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डीएफटी नाउ लेट अस राइट द स्टेटमेंट इफ डीएफटी ऑफ एक्स ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एक्स ऑफ के देन वी कैन राइट dft of y of n which is a new sequence will be equal to x1 of n n with a circle this is circular convolution representation x2 of n will be equal to y of k that can be written as x1 of k into x2 of k so here n with a circle represents circular convolution this can also be written as star with circle so both are same so you can write star with circle or n with a circle that represents circular convolution so here the circular convolution of x1 of n with x2 of n will be equal to x1 of k into x2 of k let us prove this let us take the proof let us take y of k that will be written as x1 of k into x2 of k idft of y of k we can write it as y of n that can be written as 1 by n summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of k into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k n so here y of k is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k let us substitute in this equation so we can write y of n will be equal to 1 by n summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of k is x1 of k into x2 of k into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k n we can write x1 of k as summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k m so instead of n we are writing a term as m because we have already used n here in the same way we can write x2 of k is equal to summation of l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of l e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k l let us substitute the value of x1 of k and x2 of k in this equation we will get y of n will be equal to 1 by n summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 let us write this summation summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k m we'll write this in place of x2 into summation of l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of l e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k l into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k n now let us rearrange this equation so rearranging the above equation we'll get y of n is equal to 1 by n summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 so we'll write this term first so it is x1 of m into summation of l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of l into summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power of j 2 pi by n so we will take e to the power of j 2 pi by n common in all these terms so it will be 
So, from this we can write n. So, from this term we can write minus m and from this term we can write minus l into k. Let us call this as equation number 1. We know that summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 alpha to the power of k can be written as 1 minus alpha to the power of n divided by 1 minus alpha for alpha not equal to 1 and this summation will be equal to n for alpha value equal to 1. Here, if we take this bracket term and relate with this equation, we can say alpha will be equal to e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n minus m minus l. If we take l is equal to n minus m, if we take l is equal to n minus m, at that case, if we put n minus m in place of l, we can write n minus m minus n plus m. So, we can cancel out all these term. So, this term will become 0. So, e to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. So, at that case we can say alpha will be equal to 1. So, alpha will be equal to 1 when we make L is equal to n minus m and alpha will not be equal to 1 for L not equal to n minus m. Let us use this analysis in the above equation and we can write in place of alpha we will write this term. So, we can write 1 minus e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n minus m minus l into n. So, whole to the power of n, if we take inside the exponential term, we can write into n divided by 1 minus e to the power of j 2 pi by n into n minus m minus l. If we cancel out n, the remaining term will be equal to 1. So, 1 minus 1 it will be 0, 0 divided by any term it will be 0. So, this will be 0 for L value not equal to n minus m. So, if L value is not equal to n minus m at that case alpha value is not equal to 1. If we take L is equal to n minus m at that case the above formula will be equal to n. So, for L is equal to n minus m, we will get n. For L not equal to n minus m, we will get 0. So, we will take this value in place of this term and we can write the above equation as y of n is equal to 1 by n summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x 1 of m into summation of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x 2 of L. In place of L you can write n minus m because we are taking the value for L as n minus m. If we take other values for L it will be equal to 0. So, if we take L is equal to n minus m the term will be equal to n into this entire term we have already calculated here the value is n. Here, we can ignore this summation value because L is having only one value which is n minus m. For other values, we are getting the value as 0. That is why we can neglect the summation of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1 because we are taking L as only one value which is n minus m. So, we can write the above equation as y of n is equal to 1 by n summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x 1 of m into x 2 of n minus m into n. So, here we can cancel out these two n. So, we will be left out with y of n is equal to summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x 1 of m into x 2 of n minus m. So, this is the formula for convolution. So, this is the convolution formula that is why we can write this equation as y of n is equal to x 1 of n convoluted with x 2 of n. 
so this is the derivation for circular convolution hope you have understood the topic thank you